Welcome back to Explified, your go-to channel for mastering English language tests like the IELTS. Today, we're diving deep into a critical topic, understanding different question types in the IELTS exam. Whether you're preparing for the academic or general training version, knowing the question types can significantly improve your chances of success. So, grab a notebook and let's get started. Overview of IELTS sections. Before we dive into specific question types, let's have a quick overview of the four sections of the IELTS exam, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Each section has different types of questions and familiarizing yourself with these is key to performing well. IELTS listening question types. Let's begin with the listening section. Here, you'll listen to four recordings and answer 40 questions. But these questions come in various formats and it's essential to know how to approach each one. Here are the common types of questions you'll encounter. Multiple choice. You'll listen to a recording and choose the correct answer from a list of options. The trick here is to listen carefully for specific details while avoiding distractors, wrong answers that sound plausible. Form or note completion. This question type involves filling in missing words or phrases. Pay close attention to specific information, such as dates, names, or numbers, as these are often the answers. Matching. You'll match pieces of information, such as matching speakers to their opinions. Focus on identifying who says what as you listen to various viewpoints. Sentence completion. In these questions, you'll complete a sentence using the information you hear. Be careful to match the wording exactly as it appears in the recording. Map or plan labeling. For map questions, you'll need to label parts of a map based on the information in the recording. Focus on location-specific words like next to or behind to guide you. IELTS reading question types. Next up is the reading section, where you'll need to answer 40 questions based on three long passages in the academic version or various text types in the general training version. The question types can vary widely, so let's go over the key formats. True or false or not given. For this type, you'll determine whether statements are true, false, or not given in the passage. Pay close attention to what's actually stated versus what's implied in the text. Multiple choice. You'll choose the correct answer based on your reading. Be cautious of options that seem correct but don't fully match the details in the passage. Matching headings to paragraphs. In this question, you'll match each paragraph to its appropriate heading. The challenge here is identifying the main idea of each paragraph, not just focusing on individual sentences. Summary completion. You'll complete a summary of the passage using words from the text or from a given list. This tests your ability to identify key points and paraphrase information. Short answer questions. Here, you'll answer questions using words from the text. Be precise with your word count, as these questions often have strict word limits. IELTS writing question types. Now onto the writing section. In task one, you'll either describe a graph, chart or process, academic, or write a letter, general training. Task two requires you to write an essay. Let's break down the common question types. Task one, academic. For academic writing task one, you'll encounter tasks like describing bar charts, pie charts, line graphs, or tables. Focus on comparing and summarizing the data effectively. For process diagrams, you need to explain how something works step by step. Task one, general training. In general training task one, you'll write a formal, semi-formal, or informal letter. Pay attention to the tone and structure of your letter and ensure you address all the bullet points in the task. Task two, both versions. For task two, you'll write an essay on topics like education, health, or the environment. Common types of questions include opinion essays, where you state whether you agree or disagree with a statement, and problem solution essays, where you identify an issue and suggest solutions. Make sure to develop clear arguments and support them with examples. IELTS speaking question types. Finally, we have the speaking section. This is a face-to-face -face interview with an examiner, broken down into three parts, an introduction, a long turn, and a two-way discussion. Part one, introduction and interview. In this part, you'll answer questions about familiar topics, like your job, hobbies, or hometown. The goal here is to answer confidently and naturally. Part two, long turn. You'll be given a topic card, 
and asked to speak for up to two minutes. Use this time to showcase your vocabulary and fluency by developing your ideas in depth. Part 3. Two-way discussion. The final part is a more complex discussion related to the topic in Part 2. You'll need to express opinions, analyze ideas, and justify your arguments. Tips for success. Now that you know the question types, here are some final tips to boost your chances of scoring well in IELTS. Practice under time pressure. Each section of the IELTS exam is timed, so practice completing tasks within the given time limits. Focus on vocabulary and grammar. The better your vocabulary and grammar, the easier it will be to understand and answer questions, especially in writing and speaking. Review model answers. Look at model answers for writing and speaking tasks to understand the structure and tone expected at different band scores. Understanding the different question types in IELTS is crucial to acing the exam. By familiarizing yourself with these formats and practicing strategically, you'll feel more confident when test day comes. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe to Explified, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Good luck with your IELTS prep, and we'll see you in the next video.